Well, Americans celebrated their first Earth Day back in 1970, and since then, global temperatures have risen by almost two degrees. Although it might seem like a small number, some say it does have very big consequences. 8 News Now reporter Sally Hadamio spoke to locals and the National Weather Service who say adapting to our changing climate will continue to be a way of life. Sally? Denise, Las Vegas is among the fastest, warmest cities in the U.S. The temperature change since the 1970s has been 5.76 degrees. Since 1970, we had a population of maybe 270,000 people. We're well over 2 million now. Meteorologist Barry Pierce with the National Weather Service says urbanization is the reason for this heat. Since then, uh, all the urbanization, concrete, blacktop uh, has just contributed to uh, seeing uh, warmer temperatures across Las Vegas Valley. Just last month, we went through our second hottest August on record. It is an increase and uh, off our climate records, it's most notable. Uh, in the overnight low temperatures. The low temperatures are not cooling us like they used to back in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. So far this year, um, yeah, we've issued six successive heat warnings uh, uh, for Las Vegas. Which all lasted for several days. America's fastest warming cities are all in the southwest. Las Vegas, El Paso, Tucson, and Phoenix have warmed more than any cities in the country. Dale Corman has lived in Las Vegas for 10 years. He has noticed the increase in temperatures each year. With the uh, rainforest fires going on right now, that's going to cause some concern, I think, uh, within the next years to come. When you look at the uh, climate statistics and um, global warming uh, models, uh, do contribute, uh, continue to indicate that uh, definitely the southwest United States will continue to see um, an increase in temperatures um, through the next century. And trying to adapt to the heat never seems to get easy. Why we haven't gone out much is just because of this heat this year. Planting more trees, enforcing energy efficient building standards, and building up rather than out are some possible ways that could prevent the valley from getting even hotter. And this summer has been extremely hot, all due to the lack of the monsoon. So far, the warmest we've been has been 113 degrees. Reporting live, Sally Jaramillo, 8 News Now.